for so long people have just really have been prioritizing housing workers and have not been able to find housing that suits them because the kind of housing they need isn't built for them. We're trying to solve those issues and model that for others and build a housing that is both accessible and affordable. My name is Michaela Connery. I am the co-founder and CEO of The Kelsey. We are a San Francisco-based not-for-profit that both builds and advocates for disability-forward, affordable, accessible, and inclusive housing. And what Disability Forward means at The Kelsey is that we anchor on and value the identity of disability. The Kelsey is a team made up of people with and without disabilities across all of our work of housing development, fundraising, advocacy, and field building. I'm Allie Cannington, and I'm the senior manager uh, for advocacy. I'm Natalie Bruce, and I am the communications associate at the Kelsey. One thing I love is the dual mission. We're building communities and actually putting stakes in the ground and creating affordable housing. But we're also really steeped in advocacy and policy change on the federal level. I just say that my title is a fancy way for saying making affordable disability forward housing advocates out of everyone that I encounter. Right now, the Kelsey has two ground-up developments underway. One of our communities is the Kelsey Air Station in San Jose, and then just a little behind that community is the Kelsey Civic Center in San Francisco. It is now not just conceptual, it is tangible, it is just amazing. 115 homes for people with and without disabilities that are gonna be affordable, accessible, and inclusive making sure that we have enough space for people of all different types of disabilities and body types. So I could have a wheelchair next to me and we could wheel to my future unit together. The wayfinding in this building is particularly informed by people with cognitive disabilities. The features for one person end up benefiting other people. No special tools or knowledge. No special tools or knowledge. You can take any of our units and have them be fully accessible. You want a blueprint for what disability forward housing looks like, here's a blueprint. It's a really comprehensive set of design choices and developmental strategies that are easy to follow. Access not only benefits people with disabilities like me, it benefits everyone and we make a better product. This is, is that gonna be a full window? No. Yes. Wow. That is a full window. The unit above us will be the unit for the future inclusion concierge, a member of the property management team that will have a specific focus on making sure that all residents have access to the services and amenities that they need. It's really magnificent, honestly. When we all come together, we are able to create a standard that with the policy conditions that we're changing can be scaled across the country. My cousin and our co-founder, Kelsey, she was a person who lived with multiple significant disabilities. We unfortunately undervalued the important leadership that my disabled peers and colleagues and family members have. And so it was really powerful for me to see her power and the fact that the life that she lived and the way that she anchored on integration and access and inclusion is being realized in a building named after her. Over half of people are stakeholders in disability. They either have a disability or a direct connection to someone with a disability. And people are, are not necessarily thinking this kind of housing is possible for their loved ones because it just hasn't existed before. And all of a sudden they see the Kelsey and they go, oh, it's both possible, it's both essential, and it's attainable. <laughs>